Welcome to my review of Doctor Who, episode 12, season 9. By the way, I'm Spike, and uh, this is my reviews. Let's get started. Pretty basically, the Doctor gets out of the confession dial, ends up on Gallifrey, gets rid of the Lord President, which it, it's really epic because of the fact that countless times they try to get the doctor out of this cabin and every single time he ends up just going back in the cabin until finally the Lord President comes out and he pretty much tells him, get off my planet, you know, and, and what ends up happening is all the, the soldiers are, are lined up to shoot the doctor and they can't do it because he has saved all of Gallifrey by putting them in the pocket universe from the 50th anniversary. So, by doing that, he has literally saved the whole planet. So when the Lord President tells them to shoot him down, they, they, they shoot in every which direction except him. And then they end up moving from one side over to his side. And they end up getting rid of Brassalon. And he goes into this big tirade. Oh, Brassalon! No match for the doctor. So, what ends up happening is, he goes up into the, the high command of Gallifrey. And they're trying to get to the bottom of this whole hybrid mythology, this hybrid prophecy. And what ends up happening is, they have to go and find Clark in order to figure out what she knows about the hybrid. Now keep in mind, this whole time, this whole thing is orchestrated by the Doctor so he can slay, so he can save Clara because he blames the Time Lords for cutting her life short. So they go back in her time stream, get her out of there, bring her to, to the end of time where, pretty much the end of time where the Time Lords are, and then the Doctor shoots the, the high security guard and he regenerates into a woman. Then they make a mad dash for a TARDIS, and then they end up going to the end of time where me, or Shielder, or whatever you want to call her is, and the Doctor ends up talking to her. Now, throughout this whole episode, the idea of this hybrid, it, it's been said that it was half Dalek, half Time Lord, but when he goes to the end of time, he ends up talking to Shielder and saying... And she ends up telling him that she thinks that it that the hybrid is half human, half Time Lord. And that's why the Doctor feels this pull toward Earth. So, once the Doctor leaves in, in, the, in this, where, where Shielder's at, they go back in the TARDIS. And before they go back in the TARDIS, he tells her that he's going to wipe Clara's mind so that, that she can live out a normal life. Well, Clara sees this and then reverses the polarity on the memory wiper, and then it ends up happening to the doctor instead. So that's when he shows up in the cafe. That's when he's playing his guitar, and they talk for a little bit, and then she goes away. And then that's when he finds his TARDIS. And then when he goes to disappear, all the Clara stuff that's on there is just whoosh, away. And the, the end of this episode is really, really good. Uh, the parts where Clara... Ever, ever since Matt Smith left, I have not liked Clara. I really haven't. She was okay during the Matt Smith years, but seriously, ever since K Peter Capaldi took over, she's just been an utter nuisance and a pain in the neck. And so is Shielder. So I'm glad they're both gone. Hopefully they won't return in season nine, but more than likely they probably will. So my favorite things of this episode was, number one, we get closure to Clara. She's finally gone. Number two, we get closure on Gallifrey. Now, 
the doctor is the high president of Gallifrey after getting rid of Rassilon. So we also know why he was put into the, the confession dial. The other thing is, we get a new Sonic, new TARDIS, pretty much a brand new Peter Capaldi doctor to start season nine, which he's finally getting his Sonic, finally coming into his own after two seasons. So, heading into the Christmas special, he's got his new Sonic, the, you know, the TARDIS is revamped, he's got a new coat, he, he's, he's pretty much... The way he should have been in the beginning of season eight. <clears throat> I felt like they should have really gotten rid of Clara last season. She's just kind of been dead weight, in my opinion. We need a new companion. We need some new, fresh energy to the show. And I, I really think she's kind of like moldy bread. She's just kind of been around just way too long. So... Going into the Christmas special, which, by the way, I'm going to be doing a video for that in a few days, um, right around Christmas. So I'll be doing my Doctor Who Christmas special coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, but all in all, uh, I give the episode uh, a solid 8. Uh, the, the part where Clara and, and Shielder go off in this, this cafe TARDIS... It, it was kind of boring. It was... I, I didn't see the point in it. But otherwise, other than that, the rest of the episode was really, really solid. Some of the best of the season. And I was pretty happy with it. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, any possible thing that I could do to the videos. Make them more exciting. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? Thanks for watching.